Hey guys, this is the real Randy Chavez here, and we have a couple of things to go through. Um, no, can you see that? I'm, okay. Um, we, it looks like we have a Blaine's Charizard Unlimited that had a. It was raw, and it looked like it had some edge wear and a uh, uh, some scratching on the hollow. I would have given it about a seven to it to an to an eight. And again, Unlimited sold for a hundred bucks. Um, that was fantastic. We had a Meganium first edition PSA nine, uh, number ten, so the one that is more difficult to grade, and it was on sale for two oh six or best offer, and which is surprising because the last one of these sold for two thirty two at auction, so no surprise this had got scooped up quickly, got scooped up for one hundred and eighty dollars. That person got a bargain. That person got a steal. Oh god, I had hiccups. I just ate some pretzels and oof. All right, moving on. We have Dark Gyarados, uh, pre-release Dark Gyarados PSA eight sold for twenty three dollars. I have mine for on sale for PSA nine, selling for a list at twenty five. So I should probably up that listing because the eight sold for twenty three. The pre-release nine should probably sell for like thirty five, forty. Um, we had a Pidgeot from the Fossil Era first edition PSA eight Hollow sold for fifty two bucks. Nice. Now. This one we could we could work backwards with the formula because figure the nine will sell for a hundred maybe a hundred and something, and you know that that ten I haven't seen one sell in a while but it's definitely in the mid hundreds somewhere uh, probably high hundreds. Uh, we have a fossil pack. It was a first edition fossil pack. It was graded to ten, sold for two twenty three at auction. Big boy here. We had a rocket box, just a first edition box from the rocket set. Um, it looked to be in great condition, uh, this box. So it sold for $4,800. So $4,800, that was a second price for that. There's another one on auction right now along with a Gym Challenge box in conjunction with a another Neo Genesis box. So that is something that is... Uh, oh, we're going to see more data on that in the next couple of days. Uh, we had a T17 First Edition PSA 8 sell for... Uh, it was on, on listed for... $971 or best offer. It was sold in Australian dollars for something. We don't know what. And then there was another T17 listing, first edition PSA 8. It was 956 or best offer. It was taken down. I don't know why. Maybe he's going to try to regrade it. I don't know. Um, we had a Rocket Small Trace, first edition PSA 9, hollow from that um, Gym Hero set. And that sold for $125. Rainbow Energy, first edition PSA 9, sold for $31. Uh, we had a Gengar from the Fossil Set, first edition PSA 8, Hollow, sell for $87. And we had a Vaporeon, first edition PSA 8, uh, from the Jungle Set, sell for $80. Um, so we had two PSA 8s go for 80 and above. Um, we had a Dark Dragonite from the Rocket Set, first edition PSA 10, Hollow, sell for $1,055. Nice. And we had a Slow King. Uh, this one is interesting because it's first edition, but it's a BGS 9. Now, we had two Slow Kings sell recently for at PSA 9, 350 and 305. 305 was the best offer, uh, or, or 305 or best offer, so that's what we saw. This also had a subgrade of a 9.5 for the corners. So everything on this was a 9 except for the corners, which is a 9.5. Typically, if I'm going to buy a BGS 9, I will only buy it if everything is a 9 or, or higher. If we have one 8.5 on there, that sort of BGS gets a little fugazi, and you, you don't really know what you're going to get. An 8.5 could really mean a 7. So, But with their 9s to 10, they're usually very, very stellar, very, very good with it. So uh, I should have had no problem buying buying that, but that's what uh, uh, sold for like two two fifty. Um, so that was a bargain. Whoever got that is great. Also, some news with the T17. Typhlosion, 17. Uh, a first edition for by the uh, who I mentioned, the prince himself, S. M. Pratt on on eBay. He's got an eBay store, and he's selling his first edition PSA eight Typhlosion, two thousand dollars or best offer. Uh, right now, that is he's listed it for what the nine last sold at. I think it was two grand, and the uh, what he will take for it. Maybe he'll take fifteen hundred. Maybe maybe it'll take twelve hundred. I I don't know. His 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 nine just sold for twelve hundred, um, and because we had another nine sell for two thousand, and the only other nine listed at this time 
is that $4,000 one. Who knows what that person will take for it? Maybe they'll take 3000 Maybe they'll take 2500 I don't know. Uh, but with an 8 listed at 2000 there's a good chance that 9 is going to get bought up as well. Again, there's only two on the market right now. That 9 that's listed for 4000 and the 8 that's listed for 2000 So we have some, probably some action on that over the next couple of days as well. Hope you guys are good. Y'all have a good one. Please like, comment, subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. And uh, Patreon there, as always, help grow the hobby. And we will help make America Pokemon again. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys.